my son was going through cancer treatment. We're a household of five and uh, unlimited income. I don't think we would have made it with food without leaders. We don't have to go shopping at all. We get a year. Veal to, to get clothes for free and... Household goods and have enough food to get through a week and be able to share that food. My daughter takes piano lessons. I never would have been able to afford that. And it means that I can be at home with her. And the reason I have that choice is because I don't have to worry about food security. I have more than enough. We kind of focus a lot on people who work, people who need that supplement. There's a, a cap on how much they can make to be a mentor. A small monthly membership fee helps to pay our operating costs. With that membership, I mean, you got four monthly service hours that you have to do. It really is like this giant team effort. Everybody's a volunteer. That's what makes it special. We're the gleaners. I mean, we glean the good food from the bad food. They're continually blessed by the partners that are out across Lyons County. Grocery stores and restaurants and stuff like that have excess amount of food. They donate to gleaners. Comes in on the truck, we unload the trucks. Then we pick it up and we deliver it to our team base where it gets distributed amongst our team members. It's great that they can get it out to us before it has to be thrown away. Take the good stuff away from the bad. And we put the bad out there for the farmers. It all goes somewhere. Very little goes in the garden yeah. around here. Glina says an opportunity to serve. And we share with a lot of families. I bring my adoptee food every single week. He's retired and um, living on disability. Not only are we getting her food that we know she's going to eat, but we're checking on her at least twice a week. Our adoptee lives in a trailer park and they can barely afford the, the rent in space, you know. An older couple. And so we, we take them a full box of food yeah. every week. That's very rewarding to be able to give back. When I saw her smile, I, I smiled too. And then they have some giveaway days. Christmas giveaways, Easter giveaways, barbecue in the summer. Specialty days. They put out a message to say we're having a dog food giveaway or a cat food giveaway. There's an Easter bunny in my house. That maybe wouldn't have happened before. We give to other missions when we get a little extra. Church groups, uh, food pantries. We try to help everybody that walks through the door. Everybody you can think of from every walk of life and Every educational background, it's, it's here. My favorite part is when we are like a family. It's a lot of work, but it's really fun and you get to enjoy getting to know other people. My mother's having some health issues, and so a couple weeks ago I had to leave. I was in tears, and I had two phone calls within 24 hours of people asking how my mom was. I don't know what it's going to be like when I come in each day, but it's, I know one thing, it's always going to be rewarding. The best part of this whole place is, is how you feel at the end of the day, mm -hmm. is you, you've accomplished something. Even if you don't know who you helped, you helped somebody. Come and visit us and uh, we're going to be part of the community of Clackamas.